Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Sanford Kahn. I'm an economic consultant and business author. The title of this presentation is a little bit different. It actually sounds a little bit negative. What is the last refuge of cheap politicians that have nothing to offer? We're in a campaign season now as this, this video is being made. So what is the last refuge of cheap politicians that have nothing to offer? It's very simple. And it's always been this way throughout history. It's class warfare and class envy. If you think about class warfare and class envy, it's highly negative. It is destructive. What is it destructive of? It is destructive of wealth creation. It saps the energy out of any economy, any society. Look at if you go, follow the policies of class warfare and class envy, which means high tax, high taxes on the business people who have been successful, on entrepreneurs, if you tax money away from them, you punish them. Money is, in a way, opportunity. So when you're taxing money away, excessive amounts of money, capital, do you also not tax away opportunity from them? If you tax away opportunity from them, do you not also tax away opportunity from those who wish to better themselves? You cannot hurt one without hurting the other. There are consequences for every action. The goal in society is to increase the wealth and opportunities for everybody in that society. How do you do it if you have high taxes and over-regulation on individuals who are successful or who want to be successful. They have no incentive to produce. If you're taxing away a good portion of their income, why go out there and start a business? Do you want the economy to grow and prosper, provide opportunities for everybody, to have full employment, to have the stock market going up with the Dow? I might be a little bit facetious here, where the Dow is streaming and racing towards 100,000? 100,000 on the Dow Jones Industrial Average, it's not impossible. And pensions are fully funded and in real incomes are growing. Then you really got to disabuse, strip your mind away from class warfare and class envy and start thinking what will produce real wealth in a society. Real wealth in a, any society, but I'm not talking about the United States. Real wealth in any society comes from entrepreneurs doesn't come from the established necessarily. It comes from those men and women who want to put their capital, risk capital on the line and start a business, whether it be a manufacturing service, whatever, restaurant, you name it. They want to have their own business and prosper. And so doing, they hire people. When they hire people, these people get wages and salaries. And guess what? They pay taxes. And the taxes go to fund government and could fund social program, programs too. But if the economy is going down to high taxation, you're not going to have the money to support people who really need support. It. Look, I, I mentioned just a few seconds ago, do you want the stock market to boom? You want the economy to take off like, like, uh, like a rocket and go skyward? Well, then, you, like I said, you got to strip yourself of this nonsense, destructive nonsense of class warfare and class envy. What could we do? Very simple. Think outside the box. Think outside the box. Think outside the box of class warfare and class envy. This is what you do. You get rid of the capital gains tax. The capital gains tax for long-term investment or short-term should be a big zero. Zero capital gains tax. Get rid of the corporate income tax. Corporations don't pay taxes people pay taxes. It's passed on to their employees, stockholders, and even to you through higher prices of goods and services. Let any income that goes out of the corporation, dividends be taxed at the ordinary income tax rate of the individual receiving it. Get rid of the corporate income tax. On the income tax, personal income tax, the highest rate, the highest marginal rate, if you want to keep the taxes that we have now, the highest marginal income tax rate should be 25%. Better yet, get rid of the current income tax and go to a pure flat rate income tax with a large standard deduction for both families and single people. Maybe families of four, this is just 
an idea. Maybe 45,000 flat rate, uh, standard deduction. Anything above the standard deduction, whether for singles or families, would be taxed at somewhere between 17 and 20%. There would be no deductions outside the standard deduction, no itemizations, zero, zip. So everything, everything outside of the standard deduction would be taxed at 17 to 20%, somewhere around there. The economy will boom. Corporate businesses, well, instead of having to beg to borrow money to start a business, guess what? They can incorporate and issue stock. You'll have investment funds flooding into the United States. Why? We'll have the lo lowest corporate income tax in the world. Uh, zero is pretty low. And we'll have the lowest capital gains tax in the world. Zero is pretty low. Money will flood in. The economy will take off like a rocket. Stocks will go to Mars. The Dow Jones could easily go to 100,000, not overnight, but in a few years. This is possible. It's only possible if you're willing to expand your mind and think outside the box and get rid of this nonsense, this crap of class warfare and class envy. This is un-American. This will not build the country. It'll tear it apart. Look at a secure future for all of us. All of us lies in, in vibrant economic growth. Vibrant economic growth comes about by giving the individuals, individuals, entrepreneurs, the incentives to work, save, and invest for the futures. That's it. It's not complicated. Don't make it complicated. Don't make it complicated. Change your way of thinking. I've gone on too long. I'll end it with what I always say. In the environment we're in, the economic social environment we're in now, hopefully it doesn't stay this way, and hopefully we could change our thinking. But remember, liquidity is king, not Elvis. Appreciate it if you could pass this video on to others. And as always, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until we meet again, may you grow and prosper. Take care, my friends.